Hi guys, welcome back to Commander City. How are you doing? I want to talk about my faithful tech companions. <laughs> my faithful tech companions, my laptop, my phone. Yeah, those two in particular. I'm not a techie person. I'm not really, you know, I don't. Technology and me, we don't really see eye to eye on certain things and um, I'm very archaic when it comes to certain things very cavemanish <laughs> and I would much prefer you know I'm, I'm pretty laid back when it comes to that kind of thing I prefer the rustic country kind of life and I've, my my attitude towards technology has always been the bare minimum use that I have for it that's all so when the gadgets come out with the fancy this and the fancy that and the features the, I say listen like if I usually I would, when I'm buying a phone I say listen I want it to make calls receive calls send a couple message that's it don't don't bother tell me nothing about the fancy features it can do this it can do that it have that amount of giga whatever mega whatever i don't even know know what those things mean right i just want to make calls send calls but um that has been changing you know that has been changing i remember my first phone i had <laughs> either the fourth first or second phone I used to I used to always hear this noise. Every now and again this noise would come in and I was saying, What's that strange noise? <laughs> and then my aunt my aunt came to visit me and she, she had my phone. I think she was she was using it for something and she said she said, Did you know that your message box is, is full? I said, What's that? What's a message box? <laughs> she said you've been getting all these messages and you're not it doesn't seem like you you even read them and i said that's when i knew about message messages i didn't know that those were notifications coming in i was just hearing this sound and wondering what the hell my phone up to because till then all i did was take take calls and send out a couple calls right that's all i knew to do on the phone and Every time I went to buy a phone, like if something happened to me, I lost my phone or the screen got damaged. One time I lost my phone, I left my phone in the, it fell out of my pocket in the taxi. And to show you how the phone never really has said nothing, it was no big top notch phone. The, the taxi, I called the phone and the taxi man answered the phone. I said, boy, I leave my phone, I can't come for it. He said, come for it. He <laughs> no on the phone. What am I do with that phone? So he told me where to meet him, and I went to get and I got back the phone because he had no use for the for that phone. Now if it was a top notch phone, he would have gone with the phone, right? So I've lost phones. Like I went to use the bathroom, and my phone was in my pocket, and it fell in the toilet, that kind of thing. So I had to replace the phone. Anytime I have to replace a phone, I try and get back the cheapest phone that can do. The only issue I had was I didn't like the phones that, you know, when you're typing, you have to be pressing, it, it, the, the three letters come on it, and you have to be, be pressing that to get them. I didn't like that, so I always made sure to have a phone where I could do some proper typing, right? To type out your message without having to be press pressing, that kind of thing. So other than that, I was fine with any cheap phone. If it's cheap, I you know, watch the cheapness, long as I can type properly, and send, the send, a, send a message, check the call, send a call, I'm fine. Alright, but, you know, the other day, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber and I'm always putting it off and wondering, how am I going to be a YouTuber? I don't know how to operate a video, you know, blah, blah, blah. My, the phones I had didn't seem to be of good quality in terms of the video because it's cheap phone. No, the other day my battery it was swollen. The, the, the phone I had, the battery just swelled, right? And I tried a, a number of things, and um, some person, somebody was telling me to puncture it and whatever. I said, you know what? 
this is dangerous let me get rid of the battery and, and i'm trying to get another battery so i went to the computer shop and the guy said listen i, I don't know where you're going to get this battery because this is probably the only phone in jamaica with it. you probably have the only one of this phone in jamaica i bought it they were having some kind of special thing and I bought it. <laughs> cheap phone so he said, listen darling, me can I help you? Because for me to go order that battery it's going to cost you more than the phone. So I saw a phone in his in the case and I said, you know, this this look reasonably cheap. And he said to me, I know you're a teacher, and I know that teachers many times they take pics and so on and they want to. Why don't you take this phone? It will it, it have sharp camera, you'll get better image and it will be good for you for what you need to do as a teacher and I said mm. eventually I took the phone and I'm telling you that was a life changing moment I had to go back the other day to iTech computer shop and, and ask for the manager and say I had to come personally to thank you for letting me buy this Samsung phone because I'm now a YouTuber and this Samsung phone within a month within about six weeks I have uploaded 108 videos to one of my channels, 90 something videos to another channel, and, and about two dozen videos to another channel. Just on this very phone that I'm taping this video on, this Samsung phone is now my best friend. Don't tell my Nutribullet that. Don't tell my Nutribullet what I'm saying. This Samsung phone has now become my very best bosom friend. I don't even want somebody breathe too hard on it right now. Over 200 videos on this little phone in six weeks. It has become my faithful friend. And, and I, I'm doing this video to big up my tech companions. So this phone and then my laptop, my laptops go through so much work. I have published 28 books in six years. All saved, all typed on my laptop. Maybe I've been through like two or three laptops in that time because they come under heavy pressure. My laptops come under some serious pressure, some serious workload. I always talk to my, my gadgets and my stuff and I said to them, if you can't manage the work, this is not the house for you to be because any gadget coming to this house gets some serious pressure. So 28 books in, in six years, all typed on my laptop, published on my laptop, stored on the laptop. Right? My phone, it take my pictures from my thumbnails, all my editing I do on the phone. And I always say I don't want my laptop. You see if anything wrong with my laptop, I don't give it out to technician. I can't trust them to go in my files. We're talking about some serious covert operation going on on my files. The FBI can't get a hold of this. The FBI and the CIA can't hold this laptop. So I can't make no um, technician get into it. Anything wrong with it, I have to park it. And just get another one and call it a day so my gadgets come under some heavy heavy work right so I'm doing this video to big up my tech companions my laptop sometimes I have like 30 odd tabs open from YouTube to, to, to documents to math videos music cuz I have to play music you know all kind of things I'm listening to, multitasking, 30, sometimes I look 30 at tabs and the thing going so slow and I'm there cussing, How, what else do I expect to happen with 30 at tabs open and I can't, every time I close some and I say, you know what, let me try tone it down a bit and I'll close some and a couple of hours go and I'll have maybe 10 and by your quint again, 20 odd, 30 odd tabs, that's just how, that's just how I roll. <laughs> oh my God, that's just how I roll, right? So, 
my gadgets have to really be able to work with me and I'm saying I'm bigging up I'm bigging up my laptop I'm bigging up my, my, my phone and right now I have this thing called my launcher which I made this wooden stand which my phone is on now recording this I call it my launcher I built it and I painted it black you know where I put my phone on it and I have some little sections it serves me so well it serves me so well and these are things that I talk to them I call it I give them names I talk to them um, they are my friends they are my companions and they, they are so faithful they are so faithful and if anything were to happen to any of them right now I would go into serious depression I would I would go into serious depression because of how much they have served me and how willingly they have been there for me and as I say again my gadgets go through some heavy 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 stuff heavy stuff at any given moment like sometimes I record like 12 to 15 videos per day I have seven YouTube channels and you know sometimes I record I would I, I'll do like five videos and then it takes hours to upload them and I'm, I might be there cussing but I'm saying you know I really am grateful for my phone I just I just have to wait give it time to clear up the space upload and then I have to delete those and, and do another batch in the middle of the day and those upload and do another batch in the night like right now it's after 9 10 o'clock and I'm doing four videos on this phone so you know I'm just showing my appreciation these are inanimate things but you know they do they have a life of their own they do they do and I appreciate the service that they have rendered so faithfully and you know if anything was to happen to them I would miss them as I would miss a dearly beloved companion because they have been here and they have served me well without complaint I try to take care of them as best I can you know but I put them under some heavy strain anything that is in my house will come under some heavy strain because I move with I move with power <laughs> I move with power so I mean I'm always in empire building mode so anything come around me have to be in empire building mode whether you're a person or you're a gadget right so that's it thank you to my faithful tech companions thank you so much